your city, Vegas, lies in the other direction with the rest of its slaves? Or is it just you, courier, without the lights and ghosts? Judging by your shadow, maybe you can't let your machine go. Doesn't matter now. Either way, the Divide Giants are awakening. The missiles here on their way home. There is no way to stop them. No. Now there is purpose. I believe you when you say you were careless. The Divide. The chip. The machine you brought here. Many messages can be taken from that, intended or not. What I do now is an act of conviction. <laughs> Blame you? No. Learned from you. Both the weapon to kill a nation and the strength to do it. You showed me a road, a way to carry my message. You've already answered for what you've done. Now the flag you follow will answer for it. No, not the Mojave. The West. All that's been built since America died. Same symbols as before the war. Now a flag carried by a tribe of children. You walked the West, didn't stay. You know the reason. The bear grows without structure. Follows a symbol without knowing its history. Without NCR to support it, Vegas will fall to the Legion. That grave of lights back to dust and ghosts, as was meant. After this, only one flag will remain over the Mojave. Let that one fly, or destroy itself. <laughs> no need to destroy the bear. Just cut its throat. You taught me that at the Divide. Only need to cut off the supply line, the road to watch something greater die. I'll turn the long 15 into miles of fire. Cut off the Mojave. NCR will fall back, lose Hoover Dam and leave their throats exposed to the Legion. You serve Vegas ghosts, not the tribes Vegas devoured. House is not the people of Vegas. You have walked the strip, yet have seen nothing. Your carelessness for the paths you walk, it has destroyed the city you serve. NCR will burn, then the walls of Vegas will follow. The why of it. You taught me the why of it. If you believe in something enough, you must be willing to let it burn, lest it claim you. These governments of the two-headed bear, the Legion, they carry old world ideas into an age that no longer needs them, where they cannot live. Our history, the divide, that history has been written, its lessons learned. There's nothing more to be dug from these cracks in the earth, no more fury to be torn from its sky. My home in the east, Dry Wells, is no more. It is part of the Legion. The only other home, the chance of a home, was what you built at the Divide. Then you destroyed it. There is truth in that. History has proven it. But Mojave's proof that no homeland is sacred until the larger symbols are destroyed. Whatever is built, the bear, bull, even Vegas, will tear it apart, convert it either with purpose or by accident. Nothing can prevent what comes. The missiles will launch. These questions 
Your words or mine, what do they matter to you? It is enough. It may be that as much destruction has been written in the earth here, you may build something else as you built the divide. You have spoken truly. There is a shadow of a nation behind you, the hope of a people. Yet it may not matter. The divide still stands against us. Our enemies gather outside, shadows of fear and of hope. They will have found their way in, just as you did. It was always my intention, in case I could not kill you. The marked men would flood this place, cut off your escape. Let us make our stand here, two careers together at the Divide.
Hopeville burned, lightless in the night. Invisible fires of radiation scorching it from within and without. It is said a man still walked its streets with a tattered jacket and old world flag etched on the back. He remained there, perhaps as punishment for the scars he left on the wastes, or a reminder of a history he could not forget. For Ulysses, his journey was over. The courier had been the end of his road. As for the courier, he turned his back on his home for the second time and made his way back, navigating the treachery of the Divide. Tunnelers and the marked men avoided the lone figure as if recognizing the courier's right to passage or out of fear. The courier walked until he stood again upon the edge of the divide, the last road he would walk before the second battle for Hoover Dam. There, beside his feet, was a final package from one courier to another, a footlocker bearing a gift and a message. But that message, it is something for couriers to carry and for them alone. The lights flickered across the divide, reminders that the old world histories persist and find meaning in the present. It said, war, war never changes. Men do, through the roads they walk. And this road has reached its end. <laughs>